time coming. Oh, you got a good deep pad catch. This was a set made with, um, let's see, I don't remember what I had first, but then I caught a infidel catch here. And then um, I remade it with, uh, let's see, Trevor J's Old Predator Stanky Beaver. And I don't remember, I think it had a little fox piss on it or something. I don't remember sure what it was. But, but yeah, we'll get them taken care of and oh, we can remake this or not. It's freaking muddy. So we'll see what we can do. No? Mean. You a bark? No? Looks like a younger dog, but... He was barking, but he quit. Just growling now. So. We'll get him out of here and see what we can do here. Well, we got up here to check these traps up here at the uh, duck ponds, and um, I'm not sure if it was in the video from, uh, actually I don't think I even put that on the video, but um, I pulled that dog proof that I had down there beside the road because it's so dang muddy, and I put it up here behind the, right behind the building, and um, Yesterday I had a coon, or I said, day before yesterday I said, and yesterday morning I had a coon, and then this morning we got this, and it's something you don't see every day. He's kind of small, but... Yeah, you definitely don't see those every day. Well, it looks like we missed a couple of otter that came through. Got tracks going down through there. And they went down and went out on the tube, which, I mean, I've got a caster mound there, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's not, like, set for, uh, blind set, you know, like, for... It's not set for something like this, but it's set for them coming up there to the cast mound. But um, then on the other side, they came up through here. You see the tracks down through there, and I guess they—it looked like they came kind of on the right side there just a little bit. My traps, my trap is right in there. And it looked like they came up to here and came up right here. So I put them two little weeds and the wind and wind and whatnot just it keep blowing all that trash up in there. I keep trying to get it out of the way and over to the side, but it just every day I come back it's just back in there. But um but yeah, I just put them a couple of weeds kinda of poked them in there to maybe help guide them over on that other side. But you can see they was out here out here hunting, they are fishing, whatever you call it. I mean, you got holes poked up all over the place, so. But, can't catch them all. I mean, if you do, you gotta be pretty damn good at it, so. But, I'm looking. I don't even see it in the video. But apparently, they've got something dammed up somewhere else because, I mean, yeah, we got a little bit of rain and then the snow and stuff, but, um,. On the other side of the dam is just as tall, the water is just as high as it is on this side, so obviously they got another dam somewhere. But like I said that um that over there is off limits for me, so can't go looking. That's all I wanted to do is go see go see where else they are and, and go work on their dams, but 
Um, that's off limits, so. But, I guess, so far we've only had, uh, so far we only had, uh, off-colored possum, and then at home we had a coyote, but, uh, and then we had, um, I think it was an otter, it was all tore up, I couldn't find no tracks, but, um, I think it was an otter, um, pulled out, which it was, it's a crossover, but it's not very deep, and, uh, it, it looked like he was pulled out, so, it's a bummer, but it happens too, so, like I said, you can't get all of them, but, we're gonna keep moving down this line, see if we got anything, and it's not looking too promising, but, um, we can check over half of it, so. And it's cold and nasty, so I'm gonna keep moving and see if I got anything else. So we managed to get one tied up. Um, this is a set that um, is 220 that I had set down in the bottom right there at the right at the water, or you know half half in the water, and it's been set off a couple times. And I had a rat there one time, but um, I I don't know. I, I thought about taking the 220 out and putting a 330 in, but I had my 330s all tied up, and I don't think the beavers are crossing here. I mean, the the main reason I left it set was um, because this is about the best or the main. Uh, crossover between this side of the levee and this side of the levee so um, I left it sitting thinking I would eventually get something but like I said it was set off a few times and um, I had that one rat well one of the first couple of days I had a rat in it and um, yeah finally, finally paid off so I'll get down in there and get them out of there and we'll look at them. Okay, there he is. Um, I've got a couple of these older 220s. And this is, this is one of them that I ended up... Uh, I had an otter earlier when I first started trapping up here. Um, I caught an otter. And he tore like he tore the area up so bad that it was literally he ended up tearing the ended up tearing up my I'm not sure I think these are Victor's um I can't remember for sure but I mean he's got all all tied up here so I don't know these are I guess they just well that would no I thought that was gonna that was holding part of it but it wasn't really I mean it was just hanging on there but um. I guess they're not very tight and um, they've got these I don't know I guess just so you you can uh, take the springs off it's got uh, you can see that in there um, but it's got a, it's got a little key in there or a cotter pin in there and it you take that cotter pin you can take this slide this up you take that side of the jaw or the spring off, and um, like I said, I caught one earlier in the season, and he had popped it. He just popped them off, and so I took took it out and took it home and redid it. And but I don't know, I don't know what the deal is with these two twenties. I guess they're just not tight enough. Because I mean, you can see he he tore around a lot, and damn near twisted my cable in half and it I mean yeah not the ideal situation but you can see up through there you can see a couple more went through there but yep I'll get them untangled and get them out of here and move on I pretty sure I just checked this caster mount right next to here um, Nothing in there, so I've got one more trap to check, and I'm pretty sure 
I kind of looked at it, I went down the road and I couldn't see nothing, so I'm pretty sure that uh, it was on that channel set that I had caught them a couple beaver and couldn't see nothing driving through there, so I don't think we'll have anything else today. So, but if not, um, thanks for watching and um, hope you all enjoy the videos. So, we'll see you on the next one.